Hi, Jeremy Morgan here, and today we're going to install Microsoft SQL Server on Ubuntu Linux. Honestly, I'd never thought I'd see this day, but it's here. Microsoft has gone full throttle in their open source participation efforts, and this is a huge part of that. While MS SQL is not open source, they have made it available to run on open source platforms such as Linux and OS X, which I can imagine took a ton of work. So let's take advantage of this new option. I'm running a virtual machine with Ubuntu Linux here, and the first thing I always do on a Ubuntu machine is update it. So I type in sudo apt-get update. And then sudo apt-get upgrade. Next, we need to import the public repository GPG keys, and I'll do that with the following command. And now we'll add that to our list. The following command will take the packages from Microsoft.com and add them into your sources list. Be sure to type this exactly. Next, we'll install the SQL Server. We'll update our sources with sudo apt-get update. Next, we'll type in sudo apt-get install-y msql server. And as you can see, Microsoft SQL Server has been successfully installed. So let's run the setup script for Microsoft SQL Server. As the instructions say, we'll run opt ms SQL bin SQL Server setup. Here we want to enter the SA account password. You want this to be a good password that's hard to guess. Now that configuration is complete, it asks us if we want to start the MySQL service. We'll select yes. It asks if we'd like to enable SQL Server to start on boot, and we'll select yes for that also. And our setup is complete, so let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, now I've rebooted the machine. Now let's make sure the service is running. We do that by typing in systemctl status msql server, and it appears our server is up and running. So next, we need to install the mssql tools on Ubuntu. And to do that, we'll need to add in a new repository. We'll add in the source for these repositories with the following command. And then we'll type in sudo apt-get update. Now we'll type in sudo apt-get install mssql tools. And we'll accept the license terms here. Okay, and it looks like our tools are installed. Next, we're going to try to connect to the server. To connect, we type in sqlcmd-s, and then localhost, which is the server we're on, dash u, sa, dash p, and then your password. And it looks like we're connected. Let's see what databases we have installed here. We'll do that by typing in select name from sys.databases, and then type in go. This should look pretty familiar to you if you've worked with SQL in the past. Let's go ahead and create a database. We'll do that by typing in create database, the name, and then go. Next, we want to use the database, so we'll go ahead and select that. Now our database context has been changed to Acme Widgets. Let's create a table for our customers. We'll do that with the following create statement. Okay, let's go ahead and insert some customers in there with some standard insert statements. Okay, now we've got our insert statements to insert a few customers in there, so let's type in go to commit it. And we've inserted our three customers into the database. Now we'll do a select star from customer. And as you can see, there's our three customers. And it's that easy. Anything you can do with SQL can be done here, or you can connect to it from an ASP.NET Core app. We'll be doing a lot of ASP.NET Core work in the coming months, so be sure to subscribe if you're interested. To quit from SQL Server, just type in quit and you're done. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more like it, subscribe to my page. I have tutorials related to programming and sound editing and other geeky things. Also, be sure to check out my blog at www.jeremymorgan.com. Thanks!